Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Team Fight Manager with the Rito Hypers. We are 9-3 and three in the Amateur League here. In we are going to go. Who is dominant in the meta? I mean, we got ourselves the Ninja. We got ourselves the Sniper playing that back and forth. We are going to probably see a patch today. Or, I don't know if it's today, but today... As in cosmically in real life today. This episode. There, that's a not stupid way of saying it. This episode, we're going to see a patch that I believe is going to introduce two new heroes, two new champions as well. So, I'm very curious. Today's going to be a shakeup, so we don't want to get too comfortable with the meta, too understanding of the meta. But, uh, alas, what do we got here today first? What are you going for? First ban is on Monk. All right, why would you ban Monk? Banning Monk means what to you? I don't know why. I don't know why you would ban Monk. If I ban Ninja, you're going to pick Sniper. Yeah? Like, if I ban... Oh, Shrine Maiden, I think, got a little bit of a buff. If I ban, maybe, like... I don't, I don't know if I care about banning between these two, because they're basically the same thing. Like, banning one just means... The other is still on the line. Holy moly. We are knee deep in Decisionville already. I will ban Shield Bearer and we will just see what happens. I'm going to assume Sniper, Ice Mage. Well, I could take Sniper and Ninja right now. Like, I could. Oh my god. Magic Knight has 64 health. Oh, boy. Uh, Berserker's not necessarily a tank. Here's the thing. I I'm going to go with Knight and Ninja to start out here. We have kind of like the only real tanks left. Ninja... What? You're going to think I'm crazy. Is this the ghost game? <laughs> I is is this the ghost game? They're all squishy. I need burst damage. Who else could provide me with burst damage here? Uh Archer could be okay. I believe they were... Yeah, they received a very minor buff or uh, nerf there. Pyromancer. I, I don't think they're really going to be clumped up being all ranged like that. Warrior. Uh, Swordsman here got nerfed a little bit. Fighter could be fine. It's I'm kind of between Shrine Maiden and Ghost. Like, Berserker's been absolutely gutted. Otherwise, I think he'd be good. With three defense and the HP nerf, I think he's going to get kind of shredded. It's like... There's just no point in getting there. He's going to get kited into oblivion. I think this is the ghost game, he says, knowing full well disaster is going to strike. I think we want um, Dead End Saint on Coward there. Right? No. Oh, God. We don't really have a good... There's no good Coward here. Probably... Uh, probably you. Alt early, right? I don't know, man. I know. I know it's a trap. Ghost is a trap, but they just picked three squishies. They picked three squishies. Is Ghost is Ghost really a trap in a triple squishy? We are going to find out here. Social Calamity going to be the one to watch. All of them going in on the Ice Mage. Backline jump from the Ghost. Ghost is unable to out DPS the Priest there because none of the Assassins are focusing their damage appropriately. Oh, Ninja was able to pick off two there, but only after an ultimate comes out. Ghost going in, not able to get the kill secure on the Priestess. The ninja is going in, getting us a four and two. Bunch of heals here going to potentially be the only time where we can maybe get those stacks on the ghost. Double alt comes off. Alt still out from the Ice Mage is going to pretty much all but secure it as an absolute failure here. Due to the unbelievably overwhelming stupid heals from the Priestess. Out healing two assassins on them. The balance of this champion in this patch is frankly absurd. Out healing a ninja. The priestess out healing the ninja is unheard of. I like to play priestess. Oh, gee, I think. 
I would like anybody to play Priestess, but them, that champ is kind of broken right now. Oh my god. What are they going to ban? I mean, do I need to even ban the ninja? If I'm first picking Priestess... I think I get their point now. I think that that was to get rid of that. They're banning ghost. <laughs> Why would you ban ghost? All right. Priestess, good archer. Fighter. Hmm. I kind of want to go Night Sniper now that we know that the Priestess can out-heal a ninja, which, again, should not be the case. <laughs> it should not be the case. If ninja can't take down Priestess, there is no counter for the Priestess. Like, uh, Night Sniper seems like a good call here. I, I suspect a ninja coming out here and they take swordsman. All right. I yeah, I'm I'm more confident that this is the vibe here. We got 2020 on Justice Tom there. Okay, coward sniper. I know that the stat stats wise that doesn't check out as much as it I would like, but uh old early alt late, it doesn't really matter. Ultimates Use them separately. That's all I got. All right. I feel like we should be doing okay here. Priestess untouched from the back line. Potentially going to be able to outheal all of the damage from all three of their DPS. Yeah. This is, uh, this is an unheard of amount of strength from this champion. Truly bizarre. Triple DPS unable to out damage the healing from the Priestess. It took an ultimate... It took an ultimate from them to even stand a chance here. Ultimate coming out from their ranger, from their archer. We got our setup back to neutral game here. Social Calamity back out in the front. Ult coming down from Social Calamity, I believe. Nope, uh, just the ability there coming up from Social Calamity. Dead End Saint, honestly not putting down as much work as you would expect due to their low mood and the standing in that regard for this game here. However... Just the unbelievable broken healing powers currently of this patch's priestess is truly, truly the most broken thing we've seen in competitive team fight manager. Team fight arena. My performance with priestess was top notch, wasn't it? I mean, think ahead though of situations where you get banned, I think is a good way of looking at it. Yeah, because that is going to happen. Do we have more than Awesome in instead to get the plus six? Nah, it's, it's it doesn't even... The six stats doesn't even uh, make it worth it. Absolutely bonkers. I don't think there's a... I don't think there is a ghost game. Okay, they're, they're banning Priestess. I think Ninja functions, but I don't think Priestess functions. Um... I think I'd like maybe Monk. Maybe Monk. They went Ice Mage. Sniper's very strong in the meta right now. Archer's strong in the meta. But if I if they go Sniper, I can go Ninja now that Priestess is off the table. Uh, maybe we ban... We ban something that counters ninja. What counters ninja? Dude, I don't know, man. Shield bearer, I guess. What are they going for? Sniper? Ghost! Um... Ghost, then. Ah, I'll take the knight for sure, but we need damage.
<clears throat> we have so many warriors, and yet a lot of them are not that impressive right now. Archer is a pretty safe pick here. I expect kind of a sniper here. Monk. Sniper. I'm leaning towards ninja. One moment. All right. Okay. Um. I, I feel like ninja wouldn't be too bad. I think we have to go ninja. I think we have to go ninja to take down that back line. The sniper is the only thing that can activate the ghost. Hmm. Let's see. Here we've got... Nobody who has got a main here. I think this is generally good. We've got a coward. Actually, coward on the marksman might be a little bit better. I think that seems good. We want to ult early to get rid of the ghost's potential lead. I'm ready to give it a crack. I don't know, though, man. Come on, ninja. Gotta get to the back line, you idiot. Oh, not the target we needed. Ghost is getting stacks. They're not... Ah, oh, the targeting is just abysmal. Ghost has three stacks. We're 45 seconds in. Incredibly early ult, but not early enough if you ask me. This is where it's going to all hopefully shine. The ninja is going down far too quickly for his own good here. Ninja able to surround the monk, but the ghost is sitting at four stacks, which is by far the most that we've ever seen on the ghost here. Five stacks, six stacks, seven stacks. The ghost is making it happen. The ult comes out from the sniper, and this is going to be an absolute disgusting game here on the back of the horrible targeting of the ninja. Causing massive problems here. Feeding the ghost. You do not want to feed the ghost. 12 kills. This lineup, Justice Tom on ninja, needs to feel embarrassed for that showing. Absolutely dropping that set there. Oh. That hurts. That hurts. Dropping to ghost of all things. <laughs> oh no. Ninja was not the pick, I guess, but I thought that the sniper was going to get the uh, the stacks. This is going to be a big game here. More than awesome. It's like so depressed we're obviously going to keep the same lineup as a result but oh my god what are they banning they get first pick we have to ban priestess okay there's no ghost so now we do go ninja <laughs> there's no ghost we do go ninja Hmm. I kind of want to go Shrine Maiden. So if we're going to go Shrine Maiden, maybe we go for Knight and we kind of let this sit for a sec here. They actually did go Shrine Maiden. Ninja can probably... I don't know if Ninja can out-damage Shrine Maiden. There is a world in which this is Pyromancer. There's a actually there's a real world in which this is uh this is Ice Mage. Hmm. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. What could possibly go wrong? We just lose again. That's the only thing that could go wrong. You need to really perform. Okay. All right. Uh, alts doesn't really matter. Uh, what about alts here? Separately. All right, here we are. Big thing to watch, of course, as always. Watch Justice Tom. Oh, uh, no. Uh, watch Social Calamity playing on the ninja here today. Definitely making it look a lot better than it did prior. 
Oh, absolutely popping. Oh my god, the last moment on, on their Shrine Maiden, able to keep it alive. Going down to their sniper in the back line. Ninja coming back and a teleport is going to be the correct target. It is... Ult coming out from the ninja, able to take down them in quick succession here. They were able to restabilize, but a good ult from the Ice Mage is going to keep them alive in a 1v3 scenario long enough to keep the team back. Truly a game that if it's won, it's going to be off the back of that ultimate, keeping things from truly getting out of hand. And Social Calamity taking down the sniper before moving on to uh, the afterlife. We have the knight going in. Oh, Social Calamity making quick work, making this a little bit of an embarrassing situation for Justice Tom, who was unable to make a 15-6 and six game on his ninja. Truly, truly bonkers. Performance was nut with Night, which top-notch, you know what? You did well, but there were still some unsure moments, didn't you? You kind of like that sort of middle ground kind of approach? Yeah. We keep the same team. Brad is very sad. We get first pick. Priestess out heals Ghost. Berserker. Okay. I'm leaning towards Knight Ice Mage. I liked the Ice Mage there. It, it, it's kind of a stand-in for the Archer, who is not feeling as powerful right now as I would like. This team, though, is really good. This is a very, very clean, nice-looking team. Justice Tom on the Priestess, of course. Social Calamity on the uh, Knight here, Dead End Saint taking the Ice Mage slot. Uh, again, just all separately at this point. A couple of them are a little bit redundant when used together. Are we going to see Social Calamity able to stay up all the way? The Sniper putting down a lot more damage. We're unable to out-damage the... Oh my god. Able to out-damage their healer. Dead End Saint potentially about to be going down to stun in the back line. It is not going to be enough. They were able to get down our front line and then pop through with the ultimate there. This is looking like a Total blowout in the beginning of the game here. Ultimate coming down from Shrine Maiden. We still have the ultimate coming out from Dead End Saint and Justice Tom here. Social Calamity standing up out of the radius there. The ultimate coming down from Dead End Saint. I don't know if it's going to be enough. They're going to need to get the Shrine Maiden down immediately. They were able to. Can we damage down the Swordsman before Shrine Maiden can get online? It is looking like it is just not possible. The damage... Coming out is just not moving the needle here today. Five and four on Dead End Saint is not going to do a difference when the damage coming out from the sniper is almost triple. More like double. More like double. But still, double the damage from their main damage dealer as ours. Also, not to mention the free 596 damage from Shrine Maiden. 790. Ice Mage really not performing. Give me another chance. Trust me, I'll make up for the loss. Sure. I'm not going to change it. You like that? You like that. Truly problematic there. Ice Mage clearly was not the uh, the reason for the win the first time. Oof. God, they're banning Magic Knight. It's so strange. I guess it's to give them a free range of motion for uh, what to build on their team. I go Ninja Shrine Maiden, I feel like they're going Ghost. We'll see. Oh. 
Interesting. I think we have to go shield bearer. Basically, Shield Bearer puts all of the uh, power on Dead End Saint versus. Uh, no, not Dread. Noxious. On Sniper there. Ooh. You know what? Ult simultaneously. We actually want to keep the ninja stuff alive. That may powerhouse them down. All right. I can't... I mean, with the coward, we can't work with it, though. We have to just pretty much go in. Back up. Come on. Back line. Go teleport. Take him out. Justice Tom was able to take out the sniper. Is he going to be able to redeem himself today? We're going to need Social Calamity to move a little bit quicker here. Get the lead out. Heal up the back line. Oh, my God. It is looking a little too close for comfort here. We do have Justice Tom pop in the bank. Biek line sniper. Again, ultimate's coming out from everybody on the team. Able to keep them alive here. Oh, into the most disgusting ult from a swordsman I think I've ever seen. Terrible timing for us on the ultimate from the sniper there. Terrible teleport from Justice Tom. Clearly not knowing how to play the ninja terrible teleport again from Justice Tom on the ninja. You swear he's never seen the champion played before in his life. Teleport to the back line. He's got to keep it together. He can't die that quickly like this. He is no stranger to death. Dropping another game here at the hands of his ninja. Needed to be a lot more powerful than that. There is no world in which the sniper should have got off eight kills with a ninja on deck and no healer. No world in which that should have happened. It was just truly poor, te poor teleportations, horrible timing, showing absolutely no map awareness. Ninja suit equipment. You're in the league's top five teams. You can advance to the playoffs. Playoffs is the best of five tournament. Playoff round one, league's fifth rank. It doesn't matter. We'll just show it off. Uh, yes, I failed to meet the requirements. Uh, you know, I gotta tell you, unfortunately, Justice Tom. Gonna have to be on the bench, I think. Unless... There's a real world in which we bench Dead End Saint. Howard's been really kind of strange. Then we have a priest. At you, all right, you can't be, you can't be them, But then maybe we want no, dead end saint. Justice Tom. Right. We got ourselves. Yeah, the champions are playing. Are just not meta right now. Not necessarily not meta. Clearly clearly a lot of people are playing Swordsman. Uh, and I need to look at that. But we've got Fast Runner for Spence and Ninja who is in the meta. We are definitely going to be bringing in Spence. The question is, who is sitting on the bench? Oh, gosh. Justice Tom. I know. You just, you're not good on the, not good on the Ninja. All right. Fine. That's what we're taking. Special training. Let's see. We can we can readjust the mains of somebody. Okay. Major success. Ooh, huge. Equipment. We've got uh, the ninja champion mastery up if we want it. Or the Priestess Champion Mastery up. Mm. That is really the question, isn't it? We're going to be... I think it's more likely that we get to play Ninja. I think it's more likely. And we need the help. We need the help. All right. In we go. Spence, hopefully going to show them how to make it happen. Uh, more training here, actually. How are we doing for money? We're doing just fine for money. 
Dead end saint. Okay. Melee. You got. You know what? Spence hit me with. Uh... Actually, actually, those are totally fine. Who else do we have on? Spence more than awesome. I think we're fine there. Mental training. Change all traits for 500. Let's do it. What do you got? I know it's expensive. Oh my God. Fail. Yes. Okay. I know what the pack seeders are going to say. Oh, it doesn't do anything. You can't reroll nothing to something. I've done it before and you can. I've done it before and you can. All right, Rito Hypers versus the Clever Camels. Knight is currently not available to use, not available to use because of a bug. That is going to shape things up a little bit. We may see a little bit more use of the shield, ma shield maiden, shield bearer. Oh boy, get in there. With less tanks, Ninja is going to be a little bit more free reign here we get first pick I could I could ban shield bearer take monk I guess that would mean you would well but yeah Play Ninja. It's so strange. It just might work. Bang Ghost. I'll take Monk. There's no good tanks left. Sniper. What the hell is happening here? Do I take Priestess? Hard ninja carry? Maybe I take, I take swords. I take swordsman here. I take swordsman here. Fighter. What a strange lineup that is. Uh, fighter going on you. Everybody's on their main. Everybody's on a main. If this game is not good, we got Dead Insane on Coward, which is a little bit of a problem, but I can't, I can't do anything about that right now. Alts want to go out separately for sure. All right, let's check this out here. Big thing to watch is, of course, as always, how is the ninja going to fare against their backline? Is it going to be able to out damage the Shrine Maiden? It is in this situation going back down there, Sniper going away. We've got ourselves no ninja on the field. Spence not putting those skills to good use with the 24 ability points there in the ninja category alt coming out from what was that the fighter absolute whiff of an alt if you ask me we got ninja teleport in the back line taking out the sniper kind of a bad alt from the swordsman too if you're gonna ask me all tied up at nine and nine sniper able to live at a distance here but not for long spence taking them out the true sniper among us spence Got low on HP. Monk able to keep him alive for a little bit, but not long enough. The Monk sustained is nothing compared to the Priestess, let alone the Shrine Maiden. This is going to be a much closer game than it had any right to be on the back of Pyrosic. Manning to still secure eight kills as the Sniper, laying down a staggering 1,400 damage. 12 kills, seven deaths on Spence. Far too many deaths. Like to play Priestess next match. I'm pretty confident. I mean, hey, you know, maybe we make it happen. They ban first. Ooh, this is best of uh, best of five. This is going to be weird. Free reign for Sniper. Okay.
We have to. And hopefully we get a... Yeah, I, was, I would have loved Monk. I want Swordsman here, but I just get, had, a, had a feeling. Tankiest unit left is probably going to be the Fighter. I think we have to do it. It's not my favorite, but... We were able to secure quite a bit here. Hopefully, we're going to see a lot. Okay, Coward on Dead End Saint again. Just the Coward on the tank is just truly not working that great there. Alts. Again, just use them separately. Really the best case scenario here. This is going to be a strange game here. We're going to be wanting to watch how much damage can we put down before Dead End Saint dies. We're going to need to get one of them down before they get us down. It was not able to happen. Justice Tom running away for their life here. Spence taken down at the last moment. With one clean bullet left on the Swordsman. Dead End Saint going up, but he ain't no tank. That is for sure not as the fighter. That is not going to be the case. We got ourselves two kills to six. Clean ult from the Swordsman. Absolutely decimating the front line and screwing up positioning for the Rito Hypers here. Spence able to get back to the corner strats here. Taking down their tank in the Monk. Big Daddy on the Swordsman. Not around. Papa didn't come home. We got Dead End Saint. Oh, managing to live by a shred. You're seeing the real difference here in the damage output between the Archer and the Sniper. Much higher damage output. Nearly a 40% damage increase that you see on the Sniper versus the Archer here. Showing why it is the dominating marksman for the meta. Please ban Swordsman. Tricky to fight against. Really? Was it though? Was it though? Was it though? All right. Pyro. Ninja, Fighter, Sniper. Definitely taking Swordsman. Man, I don't know. Maybe we should have taken Shrine Maiden over Priestess. All right, Spence. It's the, it's the last one to just clench it out here. There's a world in which we have this one. You ult separately again. We'll see. We'll see, man. Let's see how this goes. Again, Spence versus the Sniper. Big one to watch here. The teleport at the back line. He was able to take down Big Daddy. Oh, he was able to take down the fighter as well in the front there. Spence... Going back on the back line, able to take out the Sniper once more. This is looking like a very clean front line. They just do not have the damage without the Sniper to take down Dead End Saint, even though he is much squishier than he used to be. Alt coming out from the Berserker. It's going to be a free three to four kills. Everybody knows that in the league, but Dead End Saint with a perfectly timed ultimate, taking the Berserker fresh out of his ultimate, bringing him back down to size. Got Justice Tom sitting in the circle here, and a team that is just not willing to give them any quarter no breathing room whatsoever ultimate from ninja lasting longer than i think i've ever seen it berserker really showing why he is not a tank anymore and boy the sniper is showing why it is not the tank anymore either spence with a mind-blowing 16 kill game for the rito hypers to secure them a spot in the finals of the semi-pro league. This is what it's all been for, what they've been training for. We do have, don't worry about this, we have time. We got time, we got time, we can get we can get that back, no big deal. So let's check the schedule here. It's the Broken Buffaloes, of course. Team stats, Broken Buffaloes, most picked. Swordsman, Knight, which should probably be back on the platter for this week. Sniper, Fighter. So they like their they like their warriors and sniper. They ban ninja pretty frequently. 
We'll have to see. We'll have to see. We'll just have to see. Oh, moods. Moods in the gutter. Oh, no. Mood is absolutely in the gutter for this week here. That is not the time you want to see that for the finals. Banning Pyromancer. Are they going to first pick Sniper? If you can ban Priestess, then they're either going to take Shrine Maiden or Sniper, probably. Oops. Unplugged my headphones. Uh... Man, this is tricky. This is really, really tricky. I'm feeling as though... A ban on... Could ban Swordsman too, I guess. It's such a safe first pick. Go wild. It's such a safe first pick, first pick and it was their, um... It was their number one choice. So yeah, they're going Sniper. And I'll just take whatever tank is left over. Berserker. Priestess. I mean, let's get ourselves the knight since we have, um... We have confidence in it. Alrighty. Justice Tom on the Shrine Maiden. Mood is soured. I do think we actually want to ult simultaneously. This is the one time, because that we, way we can potentially keep the ninja ult alive as long as possible here. Seeing Spence in such a sour mood here. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to out-heal the Priestess. Oh, we were just able to pop through the Priestess there. Heals coming out. We were able to clean up them before they were able to do a darn thing. The backline getting absolutely destroyed in the Sniper before the Priestess is able to show up there. Jump coming out from the Ninja Ultimate, coming out from the Shrine Maiden. Potentially able going to be to completely neutralize the Berserker ult. Unbelievable. The timing on that. Poor ult from the Priestess, sitting at 5-10 to 10 in favor of the Retromation. Rito Hypers. Spence able to do enough damage to get through the line despite the Dower Mood, hopefully. This should lift the spirits quite a bit here. Justice Tom sitting at seven kills as Shrine Maiden. Nothing to scoff at whatsoever. But boy, if Spence is not just going through playing clean up crew. 11 kill a game from Spence. But the KDA off the charts from Justice Tom doing nearly just as much damage. But unfortunately to the improper targets. My performance with Ninja was top-notch. You know what? It was a living nightmare to the opponents. Darn right, dude. How is our mood still down? It's okay. We're up one. It's a good spot to be in. And what? Ban Pyro. Apologies there. Oh boy, ban on Pyro. I don't, I don't think Sniper. Ugh. Don't love it as a first pick incoming ninja. Yep, but maybe we can... Uh. Maybe we can take them down. 
by going for what? I will say Ghost into Ninja was a good pick last time. By the enemy. I, I will say that is definitely the case. It's very squishy and... I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I think we can make this team work. I think this is a way we could make... We could possibly make Ghost work. Just strictly when it's against the Assassin. I know it's all squishies, but we also have the Shrine Main. They don't have that much other damage on the field. I think that there is a chance... Not a great one, but them taking Ninja, I, I guess I didn't, for some reason I didn't know if they were going to, they were going to do that, but hey, they, NPC knows, the computer knows. Get in there, we're going to need to watch, of course, the Ghost very closely here, unable to lock down anything there. Ghost, unfortunately, unable to, uh, oh, to work in any of the kills there, the healing coming out. From the Priestess is completely thwarting everything that the Ghost has to offer here. Heal from even the Priestess, unable to make anything happen there. Ghost is completely, completely falling flat this game on the back of no damage and no proper healing coming out due to the thwarting of the Ninja who just keeps living at one health but truly... The one to pay attention to here is this broken, unbelievably broken champion of the Priestess doing a staggering 1500 damage shield and never dying once this game. Truly a champion that is worthy of an unbelievable amount of nerfs. Uh, it was, it was the fact that we didn't ban Priestess. More than awesome is feeling okay. You know what? I'm benching you. <laughs> oh, no. They go first. Get it out of here. What are you picking first? Sniper first pick. Ninja first pick. Ninja first pick. Swordsman is a pick for that. Swordsman monk. That gives us a lot of freedom with our final pick. Sniper. Berserker. Hmm. Shield bearer, shrine maiden. Shrine maiden puts down more damage. I really don't love this. I do not love this. That boost is so hard to pass up. Fast runner. Aye, aye, aye. Um, alt separate. Alt separate. All right. What do we watch here? We basically watch, can we shut down the ninja? Seems as though it could be possible. Got to get Spence. Oh, was not paying attention when was carried out in a casket. Spence, you got to take down this ninja before it gets to the back line. There we go. Shrine Maiden historically has been able to outheal the ninja, but it's not looking like it today. Shrine Maiden has been able to solo heal against the ninja by itself, historically. Currently, it is looking like that is not the case in the meta at the moment. More than awesome, staying just barely alive. You're going to watch the ninja go to the backline, take out another kill on our Shrine Maiden. Spawn, kill Shrine Maiden, die. Spawn, kill Shrine Maiden, die. <gasps> Spence! In the last moment, Spence was able to keep himself alive via the help of his friends. 13 to 15, the last moment is a butt clencher watching the sniper. <gasps> the closest of close that that could be right there. 
Rito Hypers, two to one, but there's still another point required. Try to use my ultimate a bit better. Who are you playing? Who is that? Who is more than awesome on? Weren't you on like? Eh, I love your attitude. Whatever. I'm sure you like that, right? Nope. <laughs> Yikes. Final game here. They are very strange to uh, pick and ban against this team. I mean, what counters it? Ghost? Priestess. What could they get that really does damage here? I think we go Swordsman Shrine Maiden. I don't think they can really break through, but we need damage. Oh, Priestess. Warrior with no assassin. Oh, that's going to hurt. We're going to need to get that the uh, ability out for more than awesome. And that ends ain't going to need to perfectly time that there. Let's swap these. Let's swap those. All right. Uh, alts are going to want to be separate. That's the big thing. All right. Basically, can we even take down the knight? Abilities need to be synced up. And they are from Dead End Saint. And Spence, they do not have the damage. They do not have the damage to take down our front line. That is what the real question was. Do they have what it takes to take down our front line? And it's looking like it is not going to be possible. They are just crying on the floor. Oh! My God! To back-to-back -back ultimates. A, tr a double during the Berserker ultimate from the Sniper. Or, uh, from the sniper through the priestess ultimate and then a swordsman ult straight through the three of them while the berserker is ulting taking him down this is a 13 and 0 game at the moment cleaning up they got one kill on the board in the last five seconds and a massacre that shows why the rito hypers truly deserve the top spot in the amateur league. We also, we need to stream. I need money. That insane, go for the, go for the stream, why not? All right, 47, good deal. All right, to the award ceremony. And I guess, I don't think we're actually going to see the, um, I don't think we're gonna see the new patch right here now let's begin the award ceremony of the amateur league season 2021 first we have the champion team award the amateur league champ team is the reno hypers oh let's go reno hypers in chat i know we're not streaming but still four inch gold and the amateur golden mouse next up is the broken buffaloes the loser award most kills goes to Big Daddy on the Clever Camels. Rip. Most assists awards goes to Justice Tom on the Reno Hypers. What a comeback. This is the moment. This is the moment where Justice Tom rubs it in everyone's face. Oh, this is the moment. Holy crap. Promoted. The Rito Hypers have been promoted to the semi-pro league with the Broken Buffaloes. All right. Oof. 400 gold for winning. Uh, we got an extra 100 gold. Good deal. Equipment. Give me the golden mouse. Plus one attack, plus one defense. Don't mind if I do. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's do a little bit of more streaming. Dead and Saint. Success 50. G. Let's check our schedule here. Yeah, it's gonna it's a ways out. A 
Okay, well, let's proceed here. We hit the vacation for a little bit. Or do we not play the, um... Ah, it's the, yeah, the event matches. We'll save that for next episode here. We're gonna play... Next episode is gonna be just as exciting as this because we're gonna go play some event matches. Attack of all champions decreases by 50%, but their attack speed doubles. Reverse the team with the fewer kills wins. Or beast mode, movement speed of all champions increased by three. We are going to, tomorrow, we're going to be playing in reverse. Who do we bring if we're playing in reverse? Let's, uh, let's get our highest stats on the bench. There we go. Bearded Wonder, it's your time to shine. Is there anything else we want to change as far as this goes? Uh, okay, we have a lot of money. We can go for mental training. You know what? I'm giving it another shot. Come on. Change all traits. I, it's worked but for me before. There we go. Life of the party increases your allies' condition by one level upon participating in the match. There we go. But alas, alas, that is that, and that is going to do it here for today. We have one, two, three, four, five. We got the five event matches followed by a vacation, followed by the end of the season, which is going to feature some massive changes. A, 100% powerful, huge balance changes. Going to shake up the meta in a much needed way. B, two new champions are going to be added to the pool which is going to shake up the meta as well. But perhaps the most important and impactful, the next season is going to be 4v4. The game itself is going to change. It is no longer going to be a 3v3 game. It's going to be a 4v4 game, which is going to turn the entire meta of everything on its head. Two bands, four players, a lot of chaos. We're going to see what happens. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it for today. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you have to let me know. So comment down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.